Welcome to Around the World Channel. Bengals vs. Brown score. Cleveland trounces Cincinnati behind Baker Mayfield's strong performance, CBSSports.com. A week of drama turned into a day of domination for the Browns, who went to Cincinnati and left with a 41-16 win. Elon Musk faces a $15 billion tax bill, which is likely the real reason he's selling stock, CNBC. Tesla CEO Elon Musk faces a tax bill of more than $15 billion in the coming months on stock options, making a sale of his Tesla stock this year likely regardless of the Twitter vote. Vin Diesel asks Dwayne Johnson to return to Fast and Furious franchise, Hollywood Reporter. Vin Diesel on Sunday asked Dwayne Johnson to make peace and return to the Fast and Furious franchise. Missing teen rescued after making a hand gesture she learned from TikTok to signal for help, CNN. CNN, a missing teenager from North Carolina was rescued by Kentucky police after she signaled for help by using a hand gesture known on TikTok to represent violence at home, according to police. Astroworld Festival Disaster Five out of eight victims identified in Astroworld Festival Mass Casualty, KTRK-TV. Houston, Texas, KTRK, five of the eight people killed in Friday's Astroworld Festival disaster have been identified. Texas Democrat candidate and former Bush advisor and says Jesus today would be accused of being woke, Fox News. A former Bush campaign advisor who is running as a Democrat in Texas Lieutenant Governor race said Sunday that Jesus Christ today would be declared woke by conservatives. Young Marines in Kabul were left to run final days of evacuation, The New York Times. Second-generation Cuban-American on his dad's side and second-generation Mexican-American on his mom's side, Captain Rodriguez followed his father who had been a Navy reservist, into the military. Marvel's, Eternals, soars to $71 million at the North American box office, NBC News. Eternals, the 26th installment in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, conquered multiplexes this weekend, grossing $71 million at the North American box office. The superhero epic earned another $90. Big Bird vaccine announcement sparks backlash from conservatives, GOP, NBC News. Big Bird's seemingly innocuous and obviously fictional announcement Saturday that he was vaccinated for COVID-19 caused a stir online, as Republicans like Texas Sen. Gloomy landscape for Democrats for midterms as Biden's approval drops to 38 percent. USA Today Suffolk poll, USA Today. A year before the 2022 midterm elections, Republicans hold a clear early lead on the congressional ballot as President Joe Biden's approval rating sinks to a new low of 38 percent. Please, like this video and subscribe to the channel if you want to stay tuned for upcoming news.